Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today we're going to talk about dates. We're going to talk about dates for California assault weapons regulations, ammunition regulations, ghost gun regulations, and large capacity magazine regulations. Now, I want to first start by apologizing to those people that watch my videos that don't live in the state of California who absolutely cannot believe the type of stuff that we have to go through. It seems like a lot of people that watch my videos that don't live here just absolutely can't fathom what we're going through, and it actually pisses off those people quite a bit. They leave in the comment section and how happy they are that they live in their free state. And trust me, I can completely understand that sentiment. Uh, but I want to apologize because I made two California gun-related videos uh, in a row. So if this does not affect you, if it's not something that you are interested in, trust me, I completely understand you clicking off the video right now. But what I'm trying to do with these videos is help out as many Californians as possible. You know, try not to shoot the messenger, okay? I'm not the one that created these rules, these laws. As a matter of fact, I fought against them vigorously, staying up till 2 o'clock in the morning for like two weeks, trying to get people to sign petitions, going to gun shows, encouraging people to sign petitions. I've been to rallies. I've spoken at rallies. I have done a lot of work to try and get this stuff turned over. I've spoken to people from the NRA, uh, CRPA, I've spoken to people from the Firearms Policy Coalition, and I've really done as much as I can do, just as a regular citizen, to try and help you guys maintain the Second Amendment in this state. So by doing these videos, again, this is just me as an extension trying to share information that I know with people that live here and might be able to benefit from this information. So again, we're just going to be talking about dates today and not necessarily specifics because the dates are very important. This is when all of these different regulations are going to take place. So it's really good to note these. If you have to, get a pen, get something ready so that you can write these down. Or if you have some a computer with you handy or something like that, you can type them down and that way you know the dates specifically. Some of the dates have changed and we don't know because regulations and things take time. Some of these dates are subject to change. Uh, after this video as well so do pay attention we're gonna start off with the ammunition regulations okay as you know as part of this whole gun apocalypse thing there was a big ammunition bill uh, that was put in there as well so some of these take place uh, took place very soon and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over these first okay so the Department of Justice is gonna start issuing vendor licenses vendor licenses is something that a vendor is gonna need in order to start selling uh, ammunition in the state of California because of the current regulations. Vendor licenses are going to start being issued on July 1st, 2017. And unless you sell ammunition, uh, you're an FFL, or you're somebody else who actually sells it, uh, that's not something that's going to be really important to you. But still, July 1st is when they're going to start issuing those vendor licenses. Okay, so January 1st of 2018... Uh, must have a vendor license to sell ammunition. Okay, so July 1st is when you can start applying for your vendor license. January 1st of 2018 is when you actually have to have that vendor license in order to sell ammunition in the state of California. Okay, again, this is more to do with vendors, but still be that needs to be known by the general public because uh, if somebody doesn't have a vendor license, you may be able to go there and buy ammunition now and they might not be selling ammunition there next year. So uh, pay attention to that. Uh, July 1st, 2019, okay, so this gives us a little bit of time to fight back against this one, get some lawsuits out there, and see if we can have this crap overturned, but July 1st, 2019, purchaser information, so that's your information, Electron electronic information will be submitted to the Department of Justice by the vendor and background checks. Okay, so yes, there will be background checks for ammunition. There will be a fee that is attached to those background checks when you buy your ammunition. And that information will be sent to the California Department of Justice when you purchase that information. That's going to take place July 1st of 2019, so be aware. July 1st of 2019 as well when it comes to ammunition is going to ban the importation of ammunition uh, by California residents. Okay, Banning importation means that you're not going to be able to have ammunition sent to you from out of state and you're not going to be able to go out of state and bring that ammunition in. So for those people that live really close to Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, any of the border states, right? You're not going to be able to go over there and drive back with ammunition. You probably will, but if you get caught, you know, they'll consider it a crime. It's just like when they stop you and ask if you have oranges. Nope. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, moving on here. Face-to-face -face requirement for ammunition transfer also takes place on January 1st of 2019. So that is a very, very important date. Excuse me, July 1st of 2019. I'm not sure if I misspoke there. But uh, July 1st for those last three topics. Tr July 1st of 2019, that's going to be for uh, all of the very important parts of the implementation of the ammunition. I would, I would consider it sort of a ban here in the state of California. Face-to-face -face requirement for ammunition transfer. So, 
you're going to have to go ahead and if you want to uh, even ship me ammunition, say I got you know, a buddy down the street and he wants to send me ammunition, uh, that would be considered illegal. We'd have to do a face-to-face -face transaction uh, even if he's giving me ammunition from what I understand. Okay, so that is it for ammunition. Now, I do want to also mention that I'm getting this information from the Michelle and Associates website. They are uh, basically the legal arm of the CRPA and the NRA here in the state of California, and uh, definitely people I would say that you support. As a matter of fact, the California Rifle and Pistol Association, along with the Firearms Policy Coalition, uh, are two places that I know that are predominantly seeking lawsuits against all this stuff. So what I would do if I were you guys, and I'm gonna continue here in just a second, go down to the link below when this video is over, and donate, even if you only have five bucks, donate to those causes because those are the people right now that are gonna be putting lawyers and lawsuits in front of all this stuff. So if you really are watching this video and you're really pissed off and you really wanna do something about it, think about what you've done to actually stop it so far. Have you done anything? If not, think about donating five bucks. At least it'll give you a clear conscience knowing that you did something to try and get this stuff turned over and I'll put links in the description box. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna get to the assault weapons regulations. Some of these have already taken place, but we're still gonna go over them any, anyway. So the last day to dross a uh, newly designated assault weapon, basically a bullet button rifle, L last day to dross it was December 21st of 2016. That already passed. You had to pick it up by December 31st, 2016 in order for it to be grandfathered in. And that uh, new assault weapons ban took place January 1st of this year, 2017. Okay, so these are three things that have already taken place in order for you to have a bullet buttoned rifle or what they're considering a uh, newly designed assault weapon. The last day to register a newly designed assault weapon again was uh, December 31st, uh, or is December 31st, excuse me, of 2017. So what that's saying is December 31st, which is the last day of the year, obviously, of 2017, you have to have that bullet buttoned assault weapon registered. But there was a little bit of a, a, an injunction. I don't know if I can call it an injunction. There was a delay because the California Department of Justice couldn't come up with the actual regulations uh, of how to define and register that assault weapon and it got delayed 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 and so governor brown signed a bill stating that now we have until july 1st of 2018 uh, in order to register those bullet buttoned weapons as assault rifles okay we know they're not assault rifles i'm switching over everything i have to featureless rifles so that i don't have to register I personally suggest you guys doing the same. If you know California, you know California gun politicians, the chances of them coming after you and uh, trying to take your weapon because you said you have an assault weapon when it's just an AR-15, uh, you're kind of gonna do that to yourself if you decide to register. But nonetheless, you have till December, or excuse me, July 1st of 2018, July 1st, that is the last day to have registration in for your bullet buttoned assault weapon. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's a very imp important one as well. Now, here's another one that gets brought up to me a lot. A lot of people want me to make specific videos about this. This is about the ghost gun bills, okay? What they call the ghost gun bills, which basically revolves around the 80% uh, manufacturer of 80% or non-serialized uh, receivers, okay? So July 1st of 2018, July 1st of 2018, uh, you must seek permission ident for identifying information prior to the manufacture or assembly of the firearm. So if you have an 80% lower, July 18th, let's see. So on that day, July 1st of 2018, if at that point you decide that you are going to possess or make an 80% lower, you then have to get those identifying uh, markers, okay? So you have to at least, uh, it says seek permission to get that, okay? So yeah, prior to manufacturing or assembling the firearm as of July 18th, you have to seek permission to get those identifying markers. What exactly that means, I don't know. I still have to do more research on it. Now we have December 31st of 2018, so about a year and five months from now, I'd say. Uh, December 31st of 2018 is the last day to obtain a serial number or other identifying mark for any firearms possessed after July 1st of 2018 that do not bear a serial number. Okay, so for instance, I already have a couple 80% low receivers that are already built into rifles, okay? I don't need to possess a serial number for those quite yet, but I have until December 31st of 2018 uh, to obtain that, 
okay so I have a year and five months or whatever to obtain those serial numbers and how to get those serial numbers and who can put those serial numbers on um, that's something that is uh, still uh, it's one of those things that I maybe forgot to write down I forgot but Mich Michelle and Associates actually did a webinar where they go over all of this stuff and I'll put a link to the webinar down below you just have to put your name and register for the webinar and then you can listen to it <clears throat> It's one of the most detailed webinars that I've ever heard. These guys absolutely know their stuff. They're lawyers, and they will go over absolutely everything to do with the regulations and what you can expect coming down the road in that webinar. So if you guys got a couple hours and you want to sit down and you want to listen to all this stuff and actually know what's going on and not just my little kind of cliff notes as we go, go and listen to that webinar. It's very, very important. Okay, so that is the two uh, regulations for the ghost guns, okay? July 18th and December 31st of 18 for the serial numbers. Large capacity magazines, okay? Now, this is the one that's changed as well. Uh, the day that large capacity magazines can be sold to federal law enforcement, January 1st of 2017. Uh, the large capacity magazine ban goes into effect July 1st of 2017. Now, obviously, if you look at the date of this video, you know that July 1st of 2017 has already passed. Well, uh, a federal judge actually stopped that from taking place. A federal judge said that is unconstitutional. The government's asking you to give up your property without due compensation. And that uh, for several different reasons, and if, if you ask me, in his opinion, he wrote a lot of very, very inf well-informed stuff, uh, especially for a California judge. Uh, but basically, he struck that down, said it was unconstitutional, and now it's going to wind its way through the court systems. I believe that a three-judge panel for the Ninth Circuit is set to hear that next. So Javier Viserys, who is the California Attorney General, uh, is appealing that decision by the federal judge and moving it up to the Ninth Circuit. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I understand. Uh, so right now, that has not taken effect. And there is no set date because it's going to be going through the court system. But right now, that has been stopped. Okay, so the large magazine uh, possession. Anyway, if you guys are interested, you can actually go over to my Instagram page where I posted a photo uh, of these dates. So if you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of that or something else, you can head over to my Instagram. I'm also going to post this photo on Patreon for those people who have supported the channel and really just kind of put things forward. Patreon has been absolutely amazing. You Patreon people out there who've gone over and just given even a dollar have absolutely made a massive change to my channel. You have kept it running like it should run, like I've wanted it to run, and you've helped me grow. So a special thank you to all of my Patreons. I will post this directly to Patreon so you don't have to search for it on Instagram. You'll be able to see all these dates. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Let's keep up the fight. Let's keep doing what we do. There are a lot of lawsuits coming down the road. There are people saying, hey, what are we doing about this? What are we going to do about this? Make sure that you donate. Make sure you donate money. We need these lawyers. We need to push this stuff forward. Join some groups. Join some associations. Make sure that you are part of what is out there to fix this and not just sitting around going, when's all this stuff going to change? Because if you just sit around asking when it's going to change, it's never going to change. It's going to take activism. You know, that's one thing that uh, I, I try and promote here on my channel. Even though my channel is, you know, gun-related channel, and I hate doing these California videos because, to be honest with you, I just want to go out and go shooting. I just want to grab my gun. I want to go out and go shooting today just like everybody else with a 30-round magazine and any pistol that I choose. But I can't. So I'm here as an activist telling you guys to be activists as well. Go out there and fight for your rights. Okay, we still have a legal process in place to try and fix these things, so let's utilize that. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.